Okay, I'm quite uh, excited to be showing you this today. Um, just arrived for me. Um, now, what's in this box is the obvious question. I hope it's all okay because box was just came in a, um, a thinly padded envelope, and um, as we can see, it's a rad tell device. There's a bit of damage here. This is how it arrived. Bit of damage on the box. Now, this is an rad tell. RT860 okay and if you can see on the label here it says frequency full band aviation band so we've got air band receive 5 watts power out what do they mean by full band let's see if there's anything else on the side of the box replication frequency I think that's um, you know like a frequency sniffer where you can lock on to a nearby uh, transmitter uh, NOAA weather alerts, not much use in the UK, those. Clear speaker, quick lock, type C charging, and long lasting battery life. So we'll see about that. Um, and that's really, that's really it for what's on the box. So let's get it open. As I say, uh, looks like we're undamaged. We've got a uh, little manual, user manual. No. This supports the advertisement. I'll just show you the listing on AliExpress and the reason why I bought this, why I was interested in this particular radio. Um, we've got frequency coverage here. So we've got an FM radio for FM broadcast radio, 64 to 108 megahertz. We've got short wave of 2.3 to 26.1 megahertz. We've got medium wave band, 520 to 1710 kilohertz. And long wave, um, 153 to 279 kilohertz. Um, then it goes on to say that we've got RX um, 18 to 520 AM or FM. So it doesn't really tie in with that, but I don't know. And the radio is capable of um, transmission between 136 and 174. So that's your VHF and 400 and 480 megahertz. That's your UHF. You've got uh, 1,024 memory channels. So that those are the specs. Um, this one comes with a programming lead. Um, it looks very similar to the Beofeng uh, programming leads I've got, but obviously it's branded. I can see this branded Radtel. We've got uh, a charging base there with um, USB-C connector on it. Um, we've got uh, a USB plug, but it's a two pin. I guess that's a US style uh, USB adapter plug. USB C charging lead. Uh, belt clip, quite a substantial looking uh, belt clip there. Um, the uh, typical rubber dicky VHF UHF um, flexible antenna. And uh, next we'll take a look at the radio itself. And here it is. This is the rod tail. I'll just open the cellophane. And it's quite a, a chunky sort of device. Fits nicely to the palm of the hand. We've got um, a PTT and a couple of um, side buttons. I think it's twin PTTs by the looks of it. I'm always mystified personally by twin PTTs. I don't know why anyone would want them, but they're there. And we've got um, a function button there. Um, on the other side, we've got the USB-C charging flap and a typical um, Kenwood style, I think they call it, um, speaker and earphone socket. I'll just... Now, we've got an SMA connector, SMA mail here. We've got a rotary control, which is your uh, on, off and volume. There's obviously some charge in the radio. Let's come on at 120 uh, megahertz there. This, I think, there we are. Let's pull it. Looks like, a, looks like a knob, doesn't it? It's not. We've got another antenna socket there, which I suspect is for um, the HF part of the coverage. Now, 
whether this is basically one of these Quan Shengs. Is it the Quan Sheng UVK5? I've got one. My Quan Sheng, I've used software to get the UEC down to 18 megahertz, but it hasn't had any hardware mods, so it doesn't go any lower than that. This one apparently does. Um, we can see, I just turn it back on. Right. Frequency mode, there we go. Um, got, a, got a menu here. It's a little bit different from the uh, the bigger thing radios I've had in the past. Uh, let's try extended functionality then. GPS, okay. Um, I didn't know this radio had GPS. But uh, it does by all accounts, by the looks of it. So we'll turn that on. Um, I don't know how we come up with that menu. Um, I think this is going to be a little uh, bit of uh, manual reading required. That's to step up and down. What if I long hold this key? Extended functionality. And we're out. I wonder, can I input an HF frequency in from the keypad? What do you reckon? Let's try um, five. Oh, I think I'll have to put in zero, leading zeros, won't I? Can I get rid of that? Zero, zero, five, nine, five, five, zero. Zero, zero, five, nine, five, five. No. So it's not going to let me do that. So we're going to need to read the manual on this one. Now, you'll know from my channel that, um, you know, I cover amateur radio uh, things, but um, probably mainly shortwave listening. So the first thing I'm going to be doing on this radio is we're going to look at the HF receive side of it, see how it performs. I'm going to connect it up to... Um, probably my Wellbrook loop and we're running up on the HF bands and see how it performs. I'll also show you the programming software. We'll take a look at that and see whether we can program a few channels into it. And we'll also run some tests on VHF. We'll see kind of what power output it's putting out and whether the um, frequency coverage on TX is as they say it is. So there it is, that is the Radtel model RT860, okay, with HF receive. I think, we look back at the listing, I think it's supposed to do single sideband as well, we'll check. Came in at just around the 40 UK pounds mark, I'll put the dollars equivalent in this video. This is just a little intro video, we'll charge it up, we'll run it up on HF. And uh, we look at it on VHF and UHF as well, of course. Make sure that it does something there. And we'll have some fun with this radio, particularly interesting because of the um, U, uh, the HF coverage, rather. And it's come from the supplier um, as is. And looking at the way that that second antenna socket is um, in there, Looks like it came from the factory that way as well. I don't think it, you know, I'm wondering whether this has got the same circuitry as the Quan Sheng and they just fitted the, the HF board with the SI4732 chip in. I don't know, but we'll see how it performs. But it does look like a very professional job, uh, certainly the way that that antenna socket has been added. Okay, thanks for watching. Look out for the next video on this Radtel RT860.